Welcome to Ultimate Pet Nutrition. I'm Dr. Gary Richter. Thanks for tuning in. As a veterinarian, I deal with many issues in my practice from medical to behavioral. But one troubling question I receive more often than expected is, why does my cat bring me dead things? And how can I make it stop? It's a fair question. I've even made a separate video on this topic, which I've linked in the description. But in summary, my answer is always the same. Keep your cat indoors. Keeping your cat indoors will not only reduce their hunting, it could actually give them a longer and healthier life. Now, my job as a veterinarian is not to judge your actions. So if your cat is an outdoor cat, don't feel bad. And it's never a good idea to abruptly change their lifestyle either. You want your cat to be happy as much as you want them to be healthy. That's why I'm here, just to provide you with the most accurate and updated information. This way, you can make the best decision for you and your furry friend. So keep watching this video to learn why I typically recommend keeping cats indoors. Reason number one, the environmental impact. Have you ever received a dead mouse or squirrel as a gift from your cat? I address this in more detail in my other video, but here's the key takeaway. Because cats are natural born hunters, they will hunt and possibly injure or kill live prey. Your cat's appetite has nothing to do with this. Even on a full stomach, your cat will react to sounds and sights of movement, which will trigger their hunting instinct. Did you know that tame and feral cats are responsible for killing countless numbers of birds and mammals? Some of these prey animals include members of endangered species. Cats actually kill more birds and other animals than vehicles or collisions with turbines and buildings. They are even listed as one of the world's 100 worst invasive species because of their effect on populations of native prey animals. But Dr. Richter, my cat doesn't hunt that often, you might say. But the truth is, if you let your cat go out, there's no way of truly knowing how much of an impact she's making on the environment. The most likely scenario is that your cat is hunting much more than you think. In fact, your cat only brings about a quarter of her kills to you. For every mouse or squirrel you find as a gift on your back porch, your cat probably killed about three more and either left them behind or ate them. And the second reason why cats are generally better left indoors is because of reason number two. It can help them live a longer, healthier life. Statistics show the average lifespan of indoor cats is 10 to 15 years, compared to an average of only two to five years for outdoor cats. The reason why is simple. Outdoor cats are exposed to numerous risks, some of which may never occur to the average cat owner. These include diseases such as feline leukemia and feline AIDS. They can be contracted from feral or homeless cats. If this seems unlikely, keep in mind that the population of feral and homeless cats in the U.S. alone is estimated to be around 60 million. Parasites, including fleas, ticks, and intestinal worms. Parasites are not generally life-threatening, but can cause some highly unpleasant symptoms for your pets. These include scratching, skin infections, vomiting, and diarrhea. If you ever notice that your cat is displaying such symptoms, you may want to consider taking them to the vet for a checkup. But your problem might not be solved right away. Parasites such as fleas and ticks can be contracted by your other pets and even spread throughout your home. So if you love letting your cats onto the bed to cuddle with them, you might be welcoming in some ticks and bugs too. Yikes. In addition to general health concerns, outdoor kitties face some serious and possibly fatal threats. These threats include, but are not limited to, being hit by a car, fighting with another cat, being attacked or hunted by a wild animal such as a coyote, poisoning from toxins such as antifreeze, rat bait, or harmful pesticides, threats from other humans such as theft, otherwise known as catnapping, or more aggressive kinds of animal abuse. Now you might be thinking, but Dr. Richter, my cat loves going outside. Besides, how will they get enough exercise if they have to stay indoors? I'm glad you asked. You may have noticed that your cat isn't too picky about what they kill. Perhaps on occasion, your cat has brought you a feather or an exceptionally large leaf. This all goes to show that although cats love to hunt, they're not that picky about what they're hunting. To keep your indoor cat entertained, find, or make some toys that your cat can chase, catch, and kill. I even have a DIY cat toy tutorial video on this channel, which will save you a trip to the pet store. You can find it on the Ultimate Pet Nutrition Channel homepage. By playing with your cat, you can give them all the exercise they need, perhaps even more exercise than they would get by spending time alone outside. And if your pet has an outdoor space that your cat simply has learned to love, consider installing a pet safe enclosure. This way your furry friends can get their outdoor times without posing a danger to the environment 
or being in danger themselves. Another great way to keep your cat entertained, especially while you're away from home, is to make sure they have access to a window. Think of the window as cat TV. If there's not much to look at, consider installing a birdhouse right outside the window. This way, your indoor kitty will have plenty of entertainment to keep them happy throughout the day. So you see, the best way to prevent your cat from bringing you their trophies is to keep them indoors. And you could be doing their health some other favors too. And they can be just as healthy and active indoors. What's your opinion on this topic? Is your cat an outdoor cat or an indoor cat? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And for more helpful information like this, check out the Ultimate Pet Nutrition channel for videos full of tips, tricks, and insights into your cat's health and behavior. Talk to you again soon.